Hey guys, this is Renix. This is a quick little thing before you go into the tutorial. Uh, the R10 segment of this video, just don't really pay attention to it. I didn't even complete the scene in R10 because it just wasn't working out for me. Um, I will post a little thing at the end of the video uh, of a result I got in a sample scene. It's just I didn't, I don't have time to set up uh, an R10 scene properly. Just letting you guys know that. But enjoy the X practical segments because you'll learn a lot. And I'll leave you enjoy the video. Peace out guys. Yo guys, what's going on? My name is Renix and welcome to yet another tutorial on X Particles. Today we're probably going to do the same as last time using Octane and Cycles. Maybe more cycles because that when I tried doing this, Octane hated it especially Well, it was fine, but when I had a motion blur it hated it. But yeah, let's just get into this. So I just have a simple um just XP system in oh by the way um, I have a new mic just testing it out as well this is kind of why I'm making this video too but I had to get a video up anyway um, I got the audio technica AT2020 and the uh, what is it it's the Scarlet Solo second gen uh, XLR interface I know it stuff sounds amazing anyway so I'm just gonna roll with it and I've adjusted my gain and stuff so it sounds a lot better it actually works properly now. Thank you, uh, Kyle Sazerge, for uh, finding that one out. But yeah, so let's drop in a plane. Uh, we're gonna make it. Uh, make, I'll just make it uh, a thousand by a thousand, uh, just for scale. We're gonna plop this in there up into the sky a bit, and we're gonna rotate it ninety degrees. So make it minus ninety. Uh, wanna make it a circle. Yep, uh, we're gonna make it a bit bigger. Actually, I might need to make this plane. Hang on, let's make it 2,000. Make it 2,000. Cool. So, now we have our emitter. Uh, let's just scale her up a bit. Okay, and bring it up. All right, so the plane's not big enough still, but like, uh, this is just tutorial reasons. I don't have to make it perfect. You can mess around with it afterwards. So we're going to go into a mission and we're going to go into oh, it's already on right, so we're good to go. We're gonna turn the speed up just a bit and also plane we're gonna try on a collider type because we're gonna need that later on. So we're gonna press play now and just see what kind of speed we're getting off the particles. See they're still too slow, so we're gonna have to put the speed up a bit. Because I actually want them to uh yeah, okay, they're bouncing. We're gonna put this to about 300 frames as well, just to get a bit of length in the sim. And also, just so you can see it better in the recording, I'm going to turn these from dots to squares. Um, don't put it to circles or spheres, sorry, because they're actually segmented and it's going to lag your interface out. So, uh, let's just see this. Yeah, okay. So, we're just going to give them a small bit more speed just to give the effect. Yeah, that'll do fine. So, next, we're going to go into our collider tag. We're going to turn the bounce down to about 5. And we're gonna turn friction way up. So now, if we uh, press play, you see that there is a small bounce, but they don't go up that high. Well, they did. They do. So let's just put bounce lower, maybe. Yeah. Okay. But anyway, we don't need full lifespan anyway. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see where the first particles hit the ground. So. Look, at about frame 70, we'll stop them. So uh, we'll go full lifespan, and we'll put the lifespan to 70. So that'll kill the particles off. So we'll see now if that works. Yeah, you can see that they're despawning. So that's perfect, and that'll optimize the scene a lot better. It'll run smoother. Also, I had issues as well. So uh, under this plane, particles were seeping through. So to stop that, we're gonna pop in an XP kill. If I could spell it right. There we go. And we're going to set that to um, inside bounds. And we're going to scale that up to the size of our plane. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're going to go into our views here. And put this right underneath our plane. Okay, that's perfect. And we can hide that from the viewport so we don't have to look at it. So, next. Modifiers. We're going to drop in a turbulence. Just to get some movement into these raindrops. So, what did I do? I think I put it like... 20 something it's just to give it a even that's even that's perfect 
and I also popped in a wind modifier. Uh, wind strength was pretty low. And what way are you pointing? Perfect. So I'm gonna reset that sim. So it's barely it's affecting a small bit. So if we turn our wind strength up a small little bit. Yeah, and we're we can also turn our you can mess with the turbulence and stuff as much as you want personally anyway. But uh, I don't really need to go into much detail because it's just a tutorial. So, right. So, that's our basic rain. So, next what we're going to need to do is go into our collider tag. So, usually what you do is you go into a uh, shift C and XP spawn modifier. But you don't need to use that here. You can go into the collider. If it brings it up. There we go. Click spawn. Enable. And create a spawn emitter so we're going to call this um, rain spawn droplets whatever and go back into it so it's spawn particle position is on collision point and direction is you can face off source particle and spawn part like particle speed um, if I remember that's glitchy if I remember correctly just use absolute and number to spawn, put that to like 5, or actually no, put it to 4 because it's going to lag your viewport depending on your computer. And what I'm also going to do is go into display and change that to dots to squares and make them red. Just so you can see them easier. So if we press play again, you can see that it's spawning droplets. But they're also being affected by turbines which we don't want. So we're going to go into modifiers and we're going to drop our turbulence into the exclude tab and also I need to put a gravity modifier into but I'll do that in a sec so as you can see it's creating droplets but they are being destroyed by the uh, wind we're going to drive that into Oop. there we go and we're going to give them a life as well about 20 I think I, think I gave it 20 see how that looks yeah 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 that's that's decent I guess um right let's play it once more yeah it's a bit it's a bit um clumpy to be honest hey uh, let me put this to tree just to have a bit less Okay, yeah, but it's the turbulence too. So if I maybe put this to 20 and see how that looks. Okay, that's a bit more lively actually. So it is. Okay. So, now that that's done, that's pretty much it, to be honest, when it comes to rain. Um, I'm not going into much detail now on, like, you know, rendering, texturing. I'm just going to be putting glass textures on this and yeah that's pretty much it so i'm gonna load up octane just so to activate because uh simon 40 crashed on me like twice already today so that's fun uh so we're gonna oh i meant to try to kill him there too and also we need to put it in a gravity as well what i'm remembering gravity and we're gonna bring that down a bit because it's a bit crazy That life is still a bit long looking. I'm gonna put lifespan to 12. Yeah, that's better. Okay. So, Octane, where are you going? Here you are. Oh, you can't even see Octane. Crap. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Uh, yeah, I have my <laughs> software set to record cinema. Not plugins, that's awkward. What if I drag that in here? Will it work? Oh, yes, okay, perfect. Uh, let's drag it over and drag it up. Perfect. So, if we load Octane, there's nothing there, it's an empty scene. So, we're quickly going to save this scene actually. Oh, uh, foreshadowing. Oh, foreshadowing. Uh, YouTube, XP4 Rain. Scene. 
open and rain. If it lets me click on it, rain. There we go. So we're gonna drop a octane tag onto the rain, and we're gonna bring the sphere. Put the sphere to about uh, point five. That's not a point. That's a point five. Whoops. Point five. Uh, we're we'll gonna click onto the tag. Put go into particle rendering. Enable into geometry. Dr drag our sphere in. Now we should have the droplets. Indeed, we do. We have our droplets. So that's the rain. Uh, we'll make a bit smaller. Put the tree. Okay. So next, we're going to save our scene in case we crash. Because God loves Cinema 4D. Going to update the R20s maybe later on. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking about doing that for the rest of the evening, just transferring all my plugins over. But anyway, uh, we're going to copy paste our octane tag over and we're going to leave that as it is because why not? We're going to reload our scene and we should have all our particles here now. Why? That's very interesting how they're doing that. That's very interesting. You know what? I'm going to copy paste this and call this droplets and make it smaller. Uh, boop, boop, and delete the spheres. And I want to make this like point two, or maybe one. Okay. So I'm gonna drag in our camera now and go into that. So if I just pause. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting how it's doing that. Hang on, let me just let me just try one thing real quick. Let me put this to relative and see what happens. Holy moly, no, okay, let's leave that in absolute and let's bring our spread up a bit. Okay, guys, I actually, okay, I figured it out. So, uh, I completely forgot, in the uh, Collider spawn settings, make sure you take kill original particle after spawning. That'll fix it. <laughs> so, I'll just play it now. There you go. That's how it's supposed to look. So, um, we're going back into the Collider General, put the bounce to about 6, and friction to 90. And, let's see how this is. There we go. There's a bit of bounce in the droplets, so there is. And perfect. That's what we wanted. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to quickly just set up a scene here. So I'm going to drag in where in the name of God. Oh, it's probably hiding here. Boop. And Octane Daylight. And we're going to set that to pretty dark. So we can actually see what we're doing. Drag in a octane light, just so we can set it up, so you can see it. This is not going to be a technical scene; it's just so you can see it. Um, thank you to the person that commented asking for this tutorial. By the way, um, I forget your name, but you commented on my latest tutorial, and I appreciate that. And we're going to turn down our intensity here. And we're going to pop on a create a specular material. Just uh, any old specular material. We're going to go into transmission and give this just a small bit of color. Because why not? <laughs> uh, onto the. Oop. And. Also, my thing glitches out sometimes. I just put it on both, as why not? Um, now I'm just gonna go into the database and just chuck it. Uh, oh, we don't want Reaper. Wait for the database to load up, and I'm gonna throw it in a concrete floor because it'll just help, and I won't have to set up another texture for it. So we're gonna scroll the way down, get one of maybe the polish homes that looks wet. Uh, oh, by the way, um, I'm currently trying to figure out how to do the wet maps. 
wet mapping is weird in this stuff so it is but uh, I'm trying to figure it out so if we scroll zoom in a bit I need oh man it's kind of a nice octane hang on two seconds let me just try something uh, boop okay that might be better you probably still won't be able to see this but it is there oh that was my phone that was loud Thank you, Vimeo. Thank you so much for those notifications. But um, when you apply motion blur to these scenes, it'll come across a lot nicer. If I just have to... Yeah, so it's kind of hard to tell. But you, you can see it anyway. It doesn't really matter. It's just... I'm just here to show you how to do the spawning and stuff. But um, let me just save the scene really quick and apply a motion blur because uh, I'm going to save that and I'm going to throw motion blur on this camera. Uh, motion blur enable. Save again and I'm going to pause Octane. I'm going to play this sim, sim through. I'm going to unpause and we have motion blur. Probably, yeah. You, can you see the recording? You probably can. You can see the streaks. But yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of spawning the particles and stuff. And um, when I figure out the map maps, I'll do a tutorial on the wet maps. It's just, it's pretty weird. I need to look into it a lot more. But uh, this tutorial has been. A, I know it's been a bit messy, but I'm just doing this to test my mic some settings that I've changed and I just wanted to get another video out but um, I am currently working on a channel intro I'm working on some overlays and some other stuff as well so all uh, that's gonna be coming soon but uh, plenty of time for that and uh, I'll wait I look in the comments see what kind of uh, other tutorials you would like I was going to do a turbulence FD with X particles crossover tutorial like with a uh, maybe a rocket launch or something but and I might still do that, but I need to mess around with some more sample scenes first that I've been working on, trying to get some nice results in there. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, not as set up as I would like to have been for this video, but hey, I need to get a video out, and yeah. So leave a like if you enjoyed this video, guys. My name is Marinix, you've been the audience, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Peace out.